Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori, girl on the ridge in her happy place. Mostly happy. Yesterday, as I was working on my things, I heard this horrible noise, and my, oh, my sewing machine died on me. <clears throat> and I tried to take it apart. I went to the YouTube and did the whole thing, and then I had my husband looked at it. So we have a new one coming tomorrow. It should be here, but I am totally lost without it. So I made a couple of little sets that I just put on Etsy, um, smaller grungy sets. So this one comes with, I did a um, altered flashcard skinny book. And so this is all grungy from Vintage by Me. And then I have some writing paper and some more little writing paper and a flip up. Now, this one has a couple more things, um, but they need to be sewed. So, I'm going to bring them to work, and they'll be a surprise. More um, clips, so you can clip them on. <clears throat> and then on the back, like something goes here. It's more of, um, I just didn't finish it. Where did I put it? It's like a little snippet that goes here. So, that. And then this book, I was having fun with the altered file folder. And this I showed in my C's that I did a... A closure <clears throat> so that comes undone like that Let's see if I can get it all in here and flowers from Esme shop crafty me shop and this lifts up <clears throat> excuse me and there's a little booklet in here and then it lifts down again and again we'll probably have to go this way so in here you get Oh, a glycine bag that I decoupaged with a little booklet. It's a bag, decoupage napkin that's attached to a seed packet. So you can use it for writing. You can add paper with it. Just a little before my machine went away. Um, uh, vintage by me. Uh, just an envelope, a handmade envelope that I made yesterday. And again, this is a guest check. And then I just sewed some of the paper round. So that all goes in this one. And of course you'll get some extra goodies. This one's got a little <clears throat> writing paper. This is Deli Girl paper. Grunged it all up. And then there's some little goodies in there. And then here's just like a receipt book type style. And some my porch, or not my porch prints. Vintage by me. Yep. And that goes in there. And of course, you'll get some extra things because as soon as I get my sewing machine tomorrow, I'm going to have to try it out because I got, I think, 110 different stitches. So I want to try that out tomorrow. So that's the first little set. <clears throat> then the second one is a smaller. Um, Uh, altered uh, file folder and this is um, the little book I use some of them my vintage doll clothes paper doll clothes in the flower from Esme shop and it has a little pocket and writing writing little envelope and then more writing. And it just flips up. So I have that. And then this one is just, let's see, I had the twine. This is an envelope. It goes that way. This is a bag. This is an envelope. And then this. This is um, just a little snippet that I attached with some twine. And this opens up this way. And another envelope. So I just covered this up so it has something a little more to look at. Because this is the back and the front. And then just a little tuck spot here, tuck spot there. And another little <clears throat> bag. And another little. Um, um, pocket there. So these are my two little up, up, up. 
sets that I'm working on in between. My prairie book is getting, it's going to be probably three, three signatures, hardback corset book is I think where I'm leaning to. <clears throat> as soon as I get my sewing machine back, we'll start playing again with that. And so that is, so both of these um, sets are listed. And I'll see you guys in the next video because we got D coming up. So see you soon. Bye.